Oh, this... Had to. <laughs> so this is a random video. I decided to meet up with this fella. Hello. And uh, <laughs> I, w I would say can you not, but I don't mind, honestly. But yeah, today we're at a dealership, basically. Uh, behind us is Ferrari and... <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like the best that's distraction so ever. But yeah, behind us is Ferrari and Maserati. And we're basically going to go to a load of dealers and uh, hopefully vlog in there, which uh, might get kicked out, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Oh. <laughs> it is a struggle to get into. <laughs> I need to show you this while the console's actually on. So nice. Oh my god. I could never. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look at the wind mirrors. <sighs> oh my Jesus Christ. Yeah, like. Can you imagine trying oh, to, like. Oh, what's sorry. that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch anything. <laughs> like, I would feel so nervous driving this, even if I bought one myself. A USB port here. USB? USB to get in charge. You got USB? <laughs> You're literally this, like, I've, I've like never been in a car like this before. You, so close to the engine, that's ridiculous. Like, you normally, can literally like, see it. If you put, like, your camera in, you'll be yeah, able yeah, to yeah. see it. That's so sick. Like, surely, well, I, I, mean, I think I've seen, like, Galados and stuff where there's, like, much more room, but... Can you imagine hearing that behind you the whole time? Oh my god. <laughs> Coming to dealerships and actually sitting in the cars completely changes your Definitely. point of view. Definitely. And I think Ferrari is one of those ones, especially when I first, when I first came to a Ferrari dealership, it completely just changes your whole thought on it. It really, really does. And this is like, right now, I've never sat in a 488 before. This is my first time too. I've seen one. Like, yeah. I've sat in a 458, but never a 488. But you can tell, like, the gradual step up they've made. Like, it's just... It's just insane. How much is finance? So we just got into the back. <laughs> the F12's open. This is my dream Ferrari. I, I cannot. Oh my god. He just like opened the handle and. Oh. But there's also F12. Like normally I don't really like the F12 that much, but in person, so nice. I don't know how like anyone's gonna sit in that. I need to move it back. <laughs> All right. So similar style wheel. You can see. Just shut the door. So I don't sound like a crazy person. Didn't show it properly. I know. I don't care. But so normally I don't really like the F12 that much. But looking around this, I can see why people like it. And those paddles feel so good. Do you think it suits me? Yeah, F12. Should I get one? No, I'm not, I can never afford something like this. But again, we're just here to have a look. But you can definitely tell, like, this smells new. And I think it's not. It's like a pre owned one as well. Oh, the panoramic roof. Oh. I think that's a panoramic. I don't know. I don't know. But God, this feels expensive. I could never drive anything like this. Even if I like had a lot of money, like a million pounds in my bank, I could never still like drive this properly. I'd be like nervous all the time. But if I had a choice, I'd be sitting in that F12 right now, Mr. Hippo. If I could steal that from you in a second, that would be great. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm closing the door now. No, no, you can't. <laughs> I've got like the most awkward angle ever. Oh, it's fell. Right. There we go. So, I definitely feel safe. If I could bring the wheel down, my issues would literally be solved. This is such a perfect <laughs> driving position. I don't think you understand. Look at me right now. Look at me. I can't reach my camera anymore. <laughs> we are literally sat in a 458, but we are sat in a 458 Speciale. <sighs> I don't know which camera to look at right <laughs> now. I've got mixed emotions. All right, here I go. Dream Ferrari time. Have you adjusted the seat? <laughs> Holy shit. So if I could get a Ferrari, it would be this one. This is like, it has the shelf, as I was saying, on like the, the Egan Lamborghini. It's a lot more room. It's a lot longer than the 488 on the 458. But, oh my fucking God. Got the weirdest look from that dealer guy walking past. <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> Probably because I screamed fuck in the middle of a Ferrari dealership. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah, when the when the door opened on that four five eight over there, the yeah. speciale, I went fuck me. <laughs> I think he heard, but oh. right. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. Okay, Snapchat. Whatever. But yeah, this right. is literally dream status. Like, oh, those paddles feel so much. Oh, I just I just want to stay in here and uh, live in here. I'm basically never gonna leave this dealership now. Um, I'm gonna stay here. So sorry, Ferrari. Uh, you're now paying for my living costs. If you don't mind. I just realized my hair's not even that long. And I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the thing. Can I go lower? Can I go lower? 
No. I can't go any lower, so I'd have to have short hair to sit in this Ferrari, to have this Ferrari. Noted, I'll have to go bald for it. Bye, baby. Bye. So he's in like a one series. I'm in like a two series, I'm not exactly sure which one, but basically wanted to try this because again, I've like considered getting something like this. It's like the three series, like I've got three series. It's not an M2, but something like that. Those paddles are actually really like short throwing. And I quite like that. But this is a diesel version, not that I'd get a diesel version. I would get a petrol if I did, but hey, I'm like looking at it, like trying to compare it to my car. And honestly, it's not that far off. It's so awkward to get into. <sighs> I mean, the i8 is one of those weird cars that, I don't know, I, I don't quite like it, but I'm not, I'm not going to say no to it. And you have to be a very small person to be able to fit in the back of that. <laughs> we just got our BMW. There wasn't a lot to see, really, uh, but obviously I tried the 2 Series, which I'm actually quite interested in. But coming outside now, there's actually an M3, as you can tell. Uh, the M3 is quite nice. I think the colour is really awesome on this. It stands out a lot compared to... Well, everything else is like black or... Yeah. <laughs> except that red... I don't even know what that is. But... Colour stands out. So upstairs in Porsche now, which is a little bit different. I'm not normally one for Porsche, but... Or Porsche, however you want to... I don't care. Uh, basically, there's quite a lot of Porsches here. The ones that stand out straight away to me, in my eyes, is the uh, orange and the blue. So we're actually going to go see those first, I think. That makes sense, because the rest of them, not too keen on. Starting off with the GT3 then, oh my god, this thing is really nice. Like, normally, you probably know, I'm not usually one for Porsches, honestly, but I found like a newfound love for this Porsche on Need for Speed, and as soon as like, as soon as I started playing with it on that game, holy crap, I fell in love with it. Like, it's so awesome. I love how wide the flare is at the back, if you can see here. Not that you can see it on camera very well, but I mean, it's, I, I told a lie, you can tell it pretty perfectly, but... <sighs> it is really nice. This is how quietly this opens. <laughs> that's silent. That's actually silent. Like, there's no noise. Alright. I'm gonna attempt to get in without smashing the other Porsche. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm so low. <laughs> Let me guess, you made a big wang shitty joke. I didn't actually. Oh, okay. You tempted me now. <laughs> You've actually got Alcantara like on the head of the ball for the shifter. I say shifter, it's not really a shifter, it's, it's an auto thing, but the paddles, oh my god, they're so heavy. You'd feel crazy lifting those while pressing those. But yeah, one thing I'm not going to lie about, I don't like Porsches that much, I would probably never really get one unless like, I found them very cheap. But that's the thing, they are very cheap. They're very cheap compared to like the competition. That's new and old, whereas the GTRs, the new ones are really expensive. The old ones though, Probably the best bike for the book for me, in my view, though. Um, I think for most people, but Porsches come, like, very close. But I do see a lot of them. That's my only thing. If I see a lot of, the, like, the same cars, I kind of go off them a little bit. But basically, in the back, I mean, you might be able to fit in the back. They can't, they're kind of seats. You just throw the children. They have no back support. Don't care. Throw them in there. But everybody knows Porsches are midlife crisis cars, so you don't need kids in there anyway. So one thing I don't really like about these ones is the b the bum. Like, there isn't really a bum there. It's kind of... I don't know. It's a bit flat. This to... man putting BBC Radio I'm, on. I'm, I'm trying to get Radio 1 extra on. <laughs> With a wing, it does help it a little bit, but this one, I could not avoid. So my knees don't really fit properly in here. Am I putting, gonna put the seat down? That's as far as I can go down. I'm assuming I can put the wheel up, but it's gonna be slanted upwards. I hate that about cars. One thing I like though is I don't have that expensive like car. I, I have the expensive car feel, it's a lot of money still. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not driving a Ferrari. I, I wouldn't feel as nervous driving this. I think that's one thing. You'd get used to it over time, but that's one thing. If I got in a very expensive car, I would for a long time be babying it because I, w I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't push that thing. Perfect time to test the low light. Not too bad, actually. Um, but yeah, we wanted to get a video of this one very quickly. I like the colour. I don't like the fact it's a soft top. I hate soft tops. Um, but, I still wouldn't own one. So hey guys, here's my new car. No idea what this is. I don't have a clue. It's really weird. No clue. It's in the zoom up. I don't even know what it's resembling. Iris for anybody. Let's have a look inside this. 
Okay, so this thing is actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, like oh, fucking <laughs> you freaking grab my hair. Um so I, I did that to him last time. That was my own fault. But anyway, so this thing, oh my god. That's not mm. can you fit in the bag? You're quite oh, small to be fair. What the fuck is done to see is actually a retard. And there's literally no space. And this is the biggest car ever. That makes sense. <laughs> it is quite a big car, but Stormzy would be proud. It feels I don't know, it feels quite small at the same time. First aid kit. First aid kit, what the fuck? It's like they know that like grime artists are gonna be doing these and they're like, we need bandages. In Das Drum and Whip. And that's a drinks thing, it's like the BMW. Yeah. <laughs> the BMW does that, that as well, it's so cool. I don't know, it's, it's supposed to be like a big car, but it still feels quite I wouldn't say small. It does but... feel quite like average. It feels like your beamer. Yeah, yeah. It feels quite compact, but outside it looks pretty massive. It is pretty wide. That <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Comedy Shorts <laughs> That was his car. Not Comedy Shorts Gamer though, so that's good. So we're in Jag now. Not much to see really. Like, F-types are exciting, but we're actually in an F-type right yeah, now. Yeah, we're currently sat in an F-type. But, I mean, they're just not that exciting compared to what we've seen Ferraris today, for example. Like, I see a lot of these on the road. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run the video off here. I'm just gonna very quickly show you. I mean, other people will moan at me if I don't. Like, oh, there you go, there you go. F type. I just open something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you did enjoy and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.